I'm just like a thought now on the business. I think Joseph Bogdanovich deliberately distract. Alright, so we have that coming up in the topics as footer hype expose a lot. You might want to stay tuned for that. So Beanie Man breaks silence and react shortly after the allegations that he was arrested in Ghana. Also coming up in the topics, Jada Kingdom boyfriend gifted her with a home studio setup. TJ, big plans for 2022. Yes, people is like TJ, speak out right before the new year start. We are going to touch on that. Plus, Jashi was not arrested. Yo, reggae media TV, badder than everything we bad. Are we madder than everything we mad? Who's it through the window? First in me, dead in dead. Run me off your boy, them can get wet. Why? I'm a dead boy. Alright, so before 2021 end. Popcorn, I leave him fans with this one right here called El Gringo. So from El Chapo to El Gringo. And this song, it kind of remind me of El Chapo in a way, you know. The way how Popcorn DJ slow and attack some badness on the track, you know. It's like it full of clarity you hear everything we must say in the song. So give me peace more of the song, the unruly boss. So a easy going rhythm with a smooth bad man song, you know, Wolande, Wolande. My favorite part in the song I when Pop can say, Boy it could have tougher than a cacanta. Don't tell me if you cool you know what that man dark. Run it! Bad joke. Juice. Don't them in a cars fast fast. Boy it could have tougher than a cacanta. Don't tell yeah, don't tell me if you cool because a dark man dark. Yes, yeah, so it's like this new one. Let me know what y'all think about it if you check it out from yesterday when Popcorn dropped this new song produced by Atomic Records and Dan Sky Records. Yeah, people, so it's our next new song we see Popcorn drop before 2021 end, you know. So I guess this are the last song y'all hearing from Popcorn for this year so until next time 2022 you don't know say popcorn ready for drop more new music so jump in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about el gringo okay so yesterday was boxing day the 26th when every year everyone look forward to sting in jamaica normally so we see many people express yourself yesterday such as Bunty recently we see Bunty post yesterday saying Jano star on this day moment forward in times I really do miss this platform when girl and boy are in a hot farm else on a know what sting the greatest one night event I wonder if I should start it forward when things return to normal. Bunty didn't stop there, he went on in another post scene. After three decades ago, who said clashes doesn't help the culture are made superb careers but only the gladiators can tell. Clash of the Century Sting 93, Bunty and Beanie versus take a real good look. Yeah, people, so him tag Beanie Man, Beanie Man react to the post with some fire emoji. So right here is like Bunty addressing people who don't believe that the Clash culture doing good for the music such as acts like Sean Paul who came out in an interview last year saying that the Clash culture is a slavery mentality. Well, personally for me, I believe that the Clash culture do help out a lot of artists this time especially this time of the year when sting keep so as yesterday when a lot of music industry insiders a lot of fans see that sting not really keep it's like jano star them really feel it like footer hype right here but it's like footer hype exposing some people on the reason what cause sting to mash up and footer hype even call some name so people I want to know, jump in the comment section, you know, because this topic is really like a discussion type of topic. Check out what Futa Hype saying right here. I don't think people understand 
the negative effect where not having sting have upon the music and the culture. Them set up the music, you know. Alright, alright. Some people are no indirect connection. Is that thing where take more than one year, more than two year, more than three year, but the results are in. We lose one of the major 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 ingredient in the expansion of the culture which is thing when we wake up yesterday I realized uh, December 26 I realized how empty and void the Jamaican space is on the world scale we now have no attraction on the world scale in other segment here where we were most dominant in them erase that you know crippling sting has wounded the Jamaican economy it has wounded the entertainment sector it has wounded the tourism sector it has wounded the financial income with the season one of the main seasons existing in the world it has taken away from the delivery of the message of the number one culture which is Jamaica now I don't know if everybody share the same views as me cause me have a long term vision big up a journey by the artist people do things and I got to talk something I know and it's going to create more enemies for me. The reason why it's going to create more enemies is because people are going to not want to face the reality if you know what's <coughs> at the truth for that talk. They're going to put ego in it and say for that chat too much. And then they're going to pine for me as the bad person because the person that we make a talk about now have more money than me because it's a white boy long to you know you cannot speak truth anymore or reality anymore about somebody if they have more money than you once you start talking about them the audience tends to Pay attention to the money where the other person have and don't look for the reality of what you speak. Now, mega um speak and mega speak openly with no eating on my heart, with no envy, no grudge, no nothing. But I'm going to say. Collectively, Zin Joseph Bogdanovich and Isaiah Ling separately destroy thing, and as damage something very important towards the Jamaican culture and it hurts me to know that today we don't have a sting you know why 
Sting is like the training camp for the Jamaican Navy SEALs. Sting is like the preparation and the graduation to send we entertain as them out in the world to defend and deliver the culture to the rest of the world. See? Um, where me blame Mr. Leng now as the boss and the owner of Sting? Um, remember Sting I keep before me exists as a star. And the one complaint we always hear say, Leng not pay the man them, them right amount of money with them forget. And in bad them. Yeah. So, I guess me put blame on Leng now because that kind of left a bad vibe with the artist them towards Sting. So, I remember at one point when we are help work with Sting. You have a couple of artists where if I never me and Jewel Money, them would have never do Sting. And I never just the money because them man they take out to them now nah, the Sting as long as them live. Zin me convince them for the Sting. And then Joe pay the money for the Sting. So, I beat Leng this up. in terms of this trying relationship with the artist, them till the artist them don't want this thing. See? What me have to get Leng preps for is for the amount of years when I carry that show they from till that show they become one of the biggest show on earth some people don't really understand you know? some people think Sting are just jam world and Portmore Sting spill over in the whole entire world see Sting spill over in the entire world meaning all places when I speak English Nobody's thing and nobody clash them and nobody everything. Alright? I think I'm just like a thought now on the business. Huh? I think Joseph Bogdanovich deliberately destroys thing purposely. I think him do that because the Jamaican influence is too great. I think based on what I analyze and what I see, Joe input within the music is more destructive than productive. Zin? And this is just my honest opinion. Joe have so much money. That's whenever Joe touch something. Any farmer music production anything. Him carry it to a level where it becomes dependent on him. Zin? And when it becomes dependent on him him take himself from it and watch it suffer and dry up and dead so when you look on it from the excitement and everything and say okay Joe is such a great help he's not a help you know he's actually taking you to a point where he's the only oxygen no Joe no longer kills things him kill 
an important part of our culture. Him kill, him left one big void, one big, big void in the Jamaican culture. Okay, so a question of the day. Does Beanie Man test positive for V or not? Well, after this been going around social media, we see Beanie Man react, we soon get to that. But how it all started? We see an article right here published on Star FM saying that international reggae superstar Moses Anthony Davis, popular known as Beanie Man, has been detained in Ghana by the airport police for floating COVID-19 protocols. It revealed that Beanie Man was positive and upon his arrival at the airport, Beanie Man was asked to isolate but he managed to float those directive and perform at the BIM concert with Stoneboy and other artists. Now, Beanie Man, according to that same article, he was detained on Monday when he attempted to board a flight back to Jamaica and it is said that he is now in custody assisting with investigations. Now, it's like when people see the news, them start run with it until Beanie Man react to a screenshot of the article on Instagram that Sparky posts on her page saying that Beanie Man detained in Ghana. Now, as you can see right here, Beanie Man reaction is like him a look pan all wagwan where people are say about him. <laughs> so now, when people see that, it's like them start to wonder if Beanie Man really detained. You know, if them really have him in custody. As you can see right here, a lot of people replied to Beanie Man comment. You know, a lot of laughing. You know, it's like this person say, quicker than 100 meter record as to how Beanie Man reply fast to that post and next person right here say something not right here yeah? Ninja Man Vice yeah people so it's like right now we have to say allegedly because from we see Beanie Man reaction right here is like something not add up at all because we see Beanie Man after the show we see Beanie Man on various interviews we see him in the street with his fans over there in Africa. So this leave a lot of fans in suspense you know for wonder if Beanie Man did really positive and if him did really get the thing. Whereas we see Sparky go make a next post saying reports received from sources in Ghana just now say the issue with Beanie Man has now been resolved. We see Beanie Man react to that post also with a eye emoji as well, you know, similar to the first one. I'll know Beanie Man no say nothing, you know. <laughs> yeah, people, so it's like Beanie Man a pray. As you can see, a comment right here replying to Beanie Man, them chat too much. A next one right here, Mr. Davis, we need a voice note. Yeah, people, so, you know, it's like this right here is all allegations surrounding Beanie Man but it's like some fans at first them did believe but when them see Beanie Man reaction right there it's like them start to wonder if all of this are true now. So people we just uh, hit you guys up with all the updates surrounding Beanie Man name. We now go highlight one side of the story and leave the other side you know. Yeah man, so moving along the next topic right here. Now Jada Kingdom posts that her boyfriend gifted her with a home studio setup. Yes people, this must be surprising for someone who loved music before 2021 and you know this is what she posts over Twitter saying what the absolute F versus Simmons gifted me with my own studio setup and I'm still in shock because this is exactly what I wanted before 2021 ended. There is none like this man. Yes, so Jada Kingdom, we expect more and more new music from you in 2022 more than how you dropped them in 2021. Yeah man, so congratulations on this move because you know you always express yourself about music so big up yourself on this gift right here okay so our next artist who plan to do a lot more in 2022 is up top boss tj the artist been off the scene a bit for a while now you know he mostly had those shows but right here we see tj make a post right here saying from june 4th 2020 me a easy 
but the amount of things me go through in a life in a dance hall from that day if me ever tell uno the amount of fight but me hold my composure like a real G and do this myself all people who me did really a look for help me turn them back and give up on me but you see 2022 F me a F it up new music coming soon love you my fans stay blessed live yeah people so you know TJ big plans for 2022 coming you know when TJ did just the on the scene we see him drop a lot of music him still drop music you know but not like before so it's like TJ planning to make it reach back that level in next year yes people so the last thing me I gotta talk about now is Jashi we are clear the ear because yesterday I mentioned something and a quote a line from an article and it's like some people take it wrong you know so Jashi was not arrested yesterday when me feature the video Jashi is like him the DM yard I talk to popcorn from there you know in break silence we drop the video and mention this from an article preliminary reports had indicated that Jashi was among the 32 taken into custody but head of operations for Clarendon, Deputy Superintendent Anton Ger Cardoza says current info is the artist was on stage and among people who ran when the officers raided the event. So it's like Jashi did run off. You know, if you watch the video, you will see that Jashi run off. They never will on Panima or anything like that. So it's like the video cut from there and preliminary reports you know them did say Jashi was among the 32 persons taken into custody but confirming the matter deputy superintendent you know he said that current info the artist was on stage and among people who ran so it's like them never will on pan Jashi or anything like that some people see this article and still believe that Jashi is in custody him knowing a lock up or anything like that so we just have put that out to clear the ear and i make it be known yeah people so from here you know they, they continue in the investigation and we're gonna see if them gonna actually charge jashi because right now as him speak you know investigation going on surrounding the artist 